What up guys, the major is coming up and you know what that means, souvenir packages. Now I don't believe that cobblestone has actually been played yet, so the cobblestone souvenir packages obviously haven't dropped. These however mixed in with all the packages are the giveaway items right here which I will definitely do at the end of the video, I will draw that for you guys. In our inventory we have a lot of London souvenir packages. I am gonna be at the London Face It Major, so if you see me around, say hi. Hopefully I'll be able to make a pretty cool vlog of it as well, but enough about that, let's open some souvenir packages. This is the nuke one, the best you can get is the control panel, which isn't that bad, I wouldn't mind a souvenir control panel, but as with most souvenir packages, I fear we are gonna get not fantastic stuff. Shmuya though, I love Shmuya. He's uh, probably easily my favorite player from big. Another nuke here, show me a control panel. That would be the dream. And no, we're gonna get a gray instead. Another nuke, I like the tech nine in this package as well. I'd happily take a tech nine. Ooh, the blues, even the blues excite me in the souvenir packages. We have a bunch of nukes and obviously best stuff, tech nine or M4A1S. I wouldn't mind the AWP as well, the AWP's pretty sweet, so anything that is kind of like a main weapon, I never use the ump, so this will not get used. Show me something good, the Glock in this, uh, the nuclear reactor, is that what it's called? That's pretty cool as well, I'd use that. I like the Face It sticker on these guns actually, I'm not sure Face It have actually held a major before, so it's pretty cool seeing all the, the Face It stickers on the guns. Another nuke, show me a Tech 9 or show me an M4A1S or a Bison. Another nuke, come on, show me a control panel, that would be awesome. I would actually, oh, the MP5, that would be cool as well, but now we're gonna get another shotgun. Another nuke coming up, this might be our last nuke, might be our last chance at the M4A1S or Tech 9. Okay, nice, M4, decent, I'll take that, the mainframe. Really looking forward to uh, attending the Face It Major it will be awesome. If, like London, it's kind of like my home ground. I'm hoping for some very entertaining games. This is the Inferno souvenir package. The items I wouldn't mind, there's probably about five. The P250, the MP7 Fade, the AK-47 Safety Net, the Dual Britters Twin Turbo, or the Krieg Integral. So the, uh, the MP5, I haven't really got skin for that. So that would be nice to have a souvenir skin for. So, Ooh, and it is none of them. Another nuke coming up. I lied about it being the last nuke. It was a big fat light and it's a light blue. Better than a gray, I'll take it. We got an overpass here, which is pretty cool. The pink DD pat in souvenir, yes. The masterpiece in souvenir, yes. I've already got the road rash in souvenir, but I'll happily take another one. So Gaben hit me up. Oh, the Desert Eagle uh, Urban DD pat as well. That would be cool. It's just like a sandy desert, like no design skin, so. <laughs> and we're gonna get a Negev. That's actually quite a cool Negev. Another overpass. The masterpiece would be mwah, would be amazing. So show me the masterpiece. Okay, it's a Glock. It's the Knight. I knew it was the Knight. Or oh, pink DD pat. I am predicting it. It's gonna go. Oh, I thought it was gonna be another V2000. This time we got a Dust 2 souvenir package. So the R8 Revolver Amber Fade or the P2000 Amber Fade. None of them are particularly exciting skins, but obviously if I got a souvenir one, that would be pretty cool. Oh, the AK-47. This is not a sponsored video either. I paid for this completely out of my own money, so I'm hoping to get something good. Otherwise, I will have thrown hundreds and hundreds of euros away. Let's keep open a minute. It's gonna be the masterpiece. Come on, show me the masterpiece. No. The Ump 45 Blaze, that would be really, really nice in Souvenir. I like that skin uh, originally in non-Souvenir form, but we're going to get a P90 Scorched instead. The Galil AR Cerebrus or the Famous Sticks, I would take those, obviously, like the two top tier weapons in the package. <gasps> oh no! Gaben heavily trolled me there. I thought I was going to get the Galil. I, was, I got a little bit excited. Most Souvenir packages, I am just uh, severely let down. I want to get something good. I would have taken that Krieg. I actually use the Krieg. I know I'm a massive noob for using the Krieg, but MP, uh, the Mag 7 Bulldozer, rather, I will accept that. But I guess I'll just have to accept these greys instead. We got another shot of the Galil AR Cerebrus. Oh, it goes past again. Oh, <laughs> why? Why so much troll, Gaber? We got a Miragi one again. Mag 7 Bulldozer, I'll take it. Or the MP9 Hot Rod. Take that as well. It's gonna be greys, boys. It's gonna be greys. Show me the M45 Blaze in souvenir with uh, some beautiful stickers on it. It's gonna be an org instead. 
it's an incredibly frustrating process opening these because you just see so much good stuff and it's all souvenir and yet you just end up with like real bomb the barrel stuff but we have so so many of these souvenir packages i'm hoping at least one of them contains something good not that. I don't want a, a sawn off snake camo. Um, 45 Blaze, I think, is my favorite weapon in this case. Show me. <laughs> no. Come on, Ump. Just pop out at me and have some epic stickers. No. Wonder how much loss I will have at the end of this video in terms of how much I actually paid for the packages and then how much the weapons will actually be worth. I'm predicting. Probably like a 99% loss, that's what I'm going for, literally 99% because opening these, if you don't get lucky, then you get really, really screwed. We've got a train one here, we'll mix it up a little bit, well, they're Tech 9 Quartz. A lot of these packages aren't like the most expensive packages, they are some of the cheaper souvenir packages. Therefore, you know, there's not going to be a Dragon Law in it. I don't think any Cobblestone has even been played yet, so you can't even get the Dragon Law yet. And I'm not sure it's even in the active map pool. I don't know enough. Please let me know in the comments whether Cobblestone is going to be in the uh, active map pool for the Championship Finals in London. That would be sick. If it is, I'm going to buy a load of those and then waste a load more money. It's going to be fantastic. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to get my second souvenir Dragon Law when, uh, when those come out. It's time. We're going to get a sawn off shotgun instead. I think the overpass might actually contain the best stuff because the masterpiece or the orp pink DD pat are both sick. I'll take them uh, in souvenir. That would be great. But we're going to get an MP9 instead. Another Miragi, the uh, bulldozer. That would be sick. In factory new. I remember the bulldozer in factory new. Non souvenir is like one of the rarest skins. No, well, not like a super, super rare, but it's definitely pretty expensive. It, well, it was back in the day. I don't know how kind of sought after the bulldozer is nowadays. In fact, you knew. haven't checked the price. I'm not up on my skin knowledge too much. I just want to see some pretty pixels thrown my way. And it's not happening today. Another shot of the masterpiece. Come on. Masterpiece. Yes, please. Show. Oh, oh I'd happily take that deeg as well. The deeg's pretty sick. Amber Fade. I'm calling it. Amber Fade. I'm going to replace it as my main P2000. I lied, it's speed 50. Come on, Amber Fade, show me it. I was wrong with the last prediction, but this one's gonna be wrong as well. <laughs> End my suffering. Now we got a train one. Not really very good stuff in the train one, to be honest. I'm not quite sure why I bought the- Oh, <laughs> come on, show me the deep, man. And the Dust 2 one isn't that much better than the train one either. It doesn't really have any like nice main weapons that you can use. I want a nice main weapon, just one that I can use, and it's not the P90. Having said that, I do buy the P90 quite a lot when I just rage tilt. This is the masterpiece case, so I want to see it. That scout, I would have taken the detour, but it's going to be an ump scorched instead. We are running low on souvenir packages. We're literally just absolutely plowing through them and we don't really have that much to show for it, which is a shame. Clearly used up all my luck on the souvenir dealer, which was very, very expensive. A lot of people ask me to this day, ooh, masterpiece shot as well. A lot of people ask me to this day um, what I did with the souvenir dealer. I sold it. I sold it like straight away. As soon as I could sell it, I sold it. So I didn't really think the price you know, in which people pay for it, people would still be paying for it nowadays. I don't know if they are because I just presumed that with the popularity of the game kind of going down, the price of the skins would also kind of go down as well. So I just sold it ASAP and a lot of people asked me how much I sold it for and it was about $30,000, which is absolutely mind. Yes, finally, there it is. There's the Urban DD Bat Deagle. That's what I wanted. Four souvenir packages left to go, guys. But yeah, I sold the uh, souvenir dealer Sold it for $30,000, which is just an absolutely mind-blowing amount of money for pixels in a game. But this is the kind of like hype that CSGO created, and they made an entire industry out of skins. An ultimate package here, Tech 9 Red Quartz, that is the best item in the case, and I doubt we're going to get it, but I'll happily take another dig. Okay, the All Amber Fade, there it is, the Sawn-Off Amber Fade. And final 
package. It is the Inferno one. You can get some really, really nice skins actually in this one. This actually might be the best case because these skins are a lot more new. And actually, I like the look of like 50% of them. So here we go. Final case. Come on, Gaben. Show me a high tier... No, that's not what I want to see. I don't want to see the mudder. And this is what we have to show for our opening. Wow, look at all these crappy, crappy souvenir weapons. Maybe we'll do better on the next one. Let's just keep throwing money at it and hope that it gives us something cool. But many of you will be waiting for the giveaway results as well, which I will draw. So we got these weapons. We've got the Orp Asimov. We've got the Gut Knife Damascus Steel. we got an Orp Boom. we got another Orp Boom. we got... An orb Asimov, an orb boom, we got a huntsman knife fade, we got a flip knife doppler, we have a gut knife lore, a flip knife fade, an orb medusa, that's the big one, that is a nice, nice skin to win. We have a flip knife lore, we have a bayonet fade, we have a gut knife marble fade, we have a shadow daggers fade, and I believe that is it. 16 items in total. Let's draw some winners. So once we scroll past all of these terrible souvenir items, First item here, the Gut Knife Damascus Steel in Field Tested. Bin it. Uh, that was a little Hitler there. It's going to be Sayonala with the message, please. Congrats, Sayonala. Actually, I missed an Orp Asimov, so let's draw that. Obviously, Sayonala, you're still going to win that Gut Knife Damascus Steel, but the winner is Stewie Griffin of this uh, Orp Asimov Field Tested. I swear, a very, very long time ago, someone else with Stewie Griffin name also won. Maybe it's the same guy. Maybe he's got absolutely insane luck. Moving on to the Orp Boom. Bin and win. It's going to be Bubby. I really love your vids. Keep this good stuff up. Let's get you the amount of subs and likes you deserve for these nice things you do for them. I really think you're one of the few people that would keep trying to give his subs something nice like this. Much thanks, mate. No worries. I am going to, like, I've been slacking on the giveaways lately. So I am definitely going to get some more sponsors and I'm going to just keep doing lots of giveaways for you guys because I absolutely love doing that stuff. Another alt boom. Let's move on. In minimal wear this time and the winner is going to be Dr. Dr. Canis with the message TY and Orp Asimov covered in stickers. The winner of this one is going to be Snoop Dogg. Ricky the Balls. Sparkles love you. No problem, Ricky. Enjoy your Orp Asimov. Another Orp Boom. The suspect not going to win this time is going to be Ikori. Poggers. Poggers in the chat, boys. Another knife to be won here. This one is a factory new Huntsman Fade. So who is going to win this? It's going to be Pancake. I'll never won anything in my life ever. Well, that's just not true, because now you've won a Huntsman Factory New Fade. <laughs> I love that guy's picture too. Flip Knife Doppler in Factory New. This is going to be won by Sashki. Thank you so very much. No problem, Sashki. That's kind of like a hard name to say. Gut Knife field tested free knives who's gonna get no one is gonna be the winner thanks didn't expect it to win this giveaway that was one heck of a battle with turbo <laughs> keep up the good work yeah i got absolutely destroyed by turbo didn't i absolutely destroyed flip my fade in factory new the winner's going to be dead mouse fuck you mouth twitch thanks for knife javigal blad no idea what any of that means so Congrats. This is a big one. This is the Orp Medusa. I know it's in Battle Scarred, but the thing about the Medusa is it still looks super, super sick in Battle Scarred. There's like basically no wear on it at all. So no one will no one will be able to tell. Don't worry about it. Who's going to be the winner of this one? It's going to be Rosamia. Thanks for giving away your inventory. If I not win this giveaway, I doesn't really care because your channel, it's so good. Oh, keep going, Sparkles. Thank you so much, dude. Messages like that. Make me very happy. When I'm reading the comments, normally it's just like so much negative stuff. And you try not to let it affect you, but as a YouTuber, you're always going to read the comments and you're always going to get the feedback from your community. Sometimes people don't really say stuff. If it's positive, they just think it. And if people think negative stuff, then they're going to say it. They're going to be like, fuck you, dislike the video. So actually keeping up the positivity and saying something positive means a lot to me. So the flip knife law in field tested sick knife is going to be won by Zap. Bro, I swear to Lord, if I win, <laughs> well, you have won. Try not to gamble all of it. Shadow daggers fade in factory new. Winner is going to be Bulkend. Thank you, my lady. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're awesome. Keep it up. Got a bayonet fade here as well in factory new. This is going to be won by Crimson Wolf with the message Escara. Gut knife marble fade in factory new spinning. To win, it's going to be Biu, Biu, Biu. I presume that's how you say your name. I love you, Sparkles. The final weapon here, the Shadow Daggers Fade in Factory New. Let's spin it. Who's going to be the winner? 
is going to be Claudio1101. Thank you, Sparky. P.S. Come to Italy, please. I love Italian food. Like, it's the best. So, yeah, maybe one day. Well, that's the end of the souvenir case opening. And that's also the end of the giveaway drawing. More giveaways coming your way. Thank you so much for watching. If you see me at the Face It Major Comp, say hi. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take it easy. Peace. Nigga. I don't just be sharing weed A nigga got pounds to burn, that's apparent Just cause you up in this bitch Don't mean you gonna hit his shit You better roll some, coughing like you got a cold or something I'm trying to OD on THC Nigga fuck around, gave Young Khalifa pound Smoke a whole thing up in a week